Hi, I'm Olivia, and here's a quick Canva tip. And this one might be the quickest of all, honestly, because I'm just showing off a couple of new apps that are new to me. I'm not sure when they got added. I'm losing my mind. So Curves is something that may not be like super trendy any longer, but they'll come back, don't worry. And a lot of us still want to use them. So having a curvy kind of background like this is instrumental. So I'm very excited to see that there are some, uh, incredible options here. So let's start over. We want to be able to add vector graphics to our design sometimes so that we can change them to be our brand colors. And curves were a really big design element a couple of years ago, and that means they'll come back. Everything is cyclical. Um, but you might still be using a lot of these curves in your designs. So if you come over to Canva apps and type in Wave, I'm actually pretty stunned at how much or how many apps have been added, what I wasn't even looking, right? So I've got a couple that I want to show you today. The first one is just this one, Waves. Um, open it up, just click open, and you're gonna see that you've got these types of waves. So you can do peaks, waves, steps, you don't want that. I want curves. You can change the aspect ratio, this is a 4.3. A 16.9 means it's a background complexity, you can add lots of waves or make it pretty simple, like one or two. And then the wave height range, obviously the peaks and valleys, so you can um, really extend that. Um, then looks like you can click generate a bunch of times to get something that you want. Then the super high crazy value add is that once you click in here, we wait for some reason my thing didn't want to save. And then of course you can change the color. If the color isn't immediately available, this is happening in some of my old videos, just refresh the screen. Sometimes vectors need just another little refresh. So then I can change this to any of my brand colors. Really exciting. I'm out of my mind thrilled. I don't know if you can do gradients. I don't see the gradients here. You can do gradients on shapes and uh, outlines, but doesn't look like on this. So a great way to use this is of course to do that. Scroll it down, amazing. So now we're gonna come back to apps and then do another one, wave generator. This one is similar to the other one. They're just two different. And this one has less uh, customization, but I'm okay with that. This one actually is creating a little bit more of a easier or a, a horizontal vibe. So I'm going to click add wave to design. This one didn't glitch at all. It just is going to let me add this. So check it out. Nice. And this says, let's continue the wave because last week I did wavy curvy text. I'm obsessed. So now let's go back to apps again and check out this can wave. Now can is a whole collection of apps from the can box that I explored them and saw that they have tons and tons of apps in here, which is really cool. Um, so they also have a wave generator. Um, they also have gradient wave generator, line wave generator. Whoever invented Can and decided to partner with Canva, I love you. Pointy, curved, the two colors we're gonna add to design. Here, now the disadvantage of this one is that you can then, oh no, you can, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can change the gradient up afterwards. So if I want this kind of vibe here, I can. And now I have waves for my background. Background waves. This is a humongous deal. I don't know when it got added because previously you couldn't do any of this. If you're still watching, just to highlight a couple of other can apps, this, uh, a squircle is like a square circle. Um, these are, again, were also really popular at one point. Um, I think Clubhouse used squircles, but you can actually like make custom little shapes here for like the smooth corners and stuff. So that's pretty cool if you use squircles. Um, I know it's a silly word. Let's type in can and see what else they have. They have a grid tool, I know, which is really neat um, as well. So you can add in like a grid. The dotted grid is humongous for me. I love doing like note type stuff, but you can add in stuff. Uh, make your rows, make a huge grid. If I want that shape size, like that is incredible. Again, whoever runs can. I'm in love with you. Can grid. And if we click on more 
can box there we go oh well here's the apps that they have there's no pricing it's just integrated in canva you can make blobs the squircles they have a lorem ipsum tool a border tool a wave tool and the grid yay so if there's ever something you're like man i just really wish i could get this just search for it um the way i used to do this was come over to elements and type in wave <laughs> and then i would go okay i guess this one and then i would see if it would let me change the color it would okay amazing uh and then i would just sort of see or i would go make it myself in adobe illustrator and then i would import it and so now you'll see here there's a couple of other things like i still think this is really useful if you need to find some waves for the background um i just still think this is the corner one you can't really generate so i think this is pretty nice especially if this is in your branding to use already uh let's type in wave again and just see what happens there's lots of great little little guys in here i think i used to use this one a lot as well and then there's a lot of these so a lot of stuff's been added and i, I think there's maybe like an old old youtube video i did where i was like here's the best you can do but there is a lot, or there are a lot more waves in here. All right, happy creating. If this isn't a part of your brand, at least you got to see that there are more apps to be found in the uh, really cool Canva app library. There's a lot of really amazing things to explore, and I will continue bringing them to you and showing you quick Canva tips. All right, guys, this was one a fast one. I will see you next week. I feel like